Hi guys, welcome to this video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. In this video, we'll be talking about how to fix the how.dll is missing or corrupt error message when you try and boot up the PC. So you're faced with this error message in front of you. Now, this is down to two possible things. It's normally down to either the how.dll file is either missing or it's been corrupted. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to fix that that problem. It also can be the actual bootini file. Now I'll give you an example on the actual bootini file. This is what a bootini file looks like, but this is the wrong bootini file because actually the setup for this bootini file is say it's partitioned with C and a D drive. Okay. And as you can see here, the wrong bit is in the blue. It's saying it's partition free, so it's pointing in the wrong direction, the wrong partition, which means it's wrong and that's going to kick up an LDLL file error message okay the right the right look should be like this this is the correct um, boot in that it should be saying partition 2 and so on and so on and so on because there's two partitions assuming that that's what it is now if it was the same thing with one partition it should say one and if you've got it set to two partitions then obviously it's trying to boot up to the wrong partition and it will flag a how DLL error so I'm going to show you how to fix this one as well okay because they're the two ones that it could be so let's get started the first thing you're going to need for, to fix this is a Windows XP CD okay and we're going to reboot the CD reboot the PC now into to boot to the actual CD so you need to change the boot option to boot to CD first okay now push any key to boot from the CD and we'll let this load up and once it's loaded up we're in the recovery console okay okay we need to finish loading in the CD here so once we get to this option screen we're going to be pushing R to enter the recovery console and the first fix we're going to be doing here is the missing how DLL or corrupt one so we're going to rewrite a new how DLL file to that directory so push R to enter the recovery console let this load up now you may see a different um, set of uh, partitions here because obviously you may be dual booting but obviously I'm not so I'm just going to type 1 to enter that windows there so push enter now we have, I haven't got an administrator password so I just push enter but if you have an administrator password you need to type it in at this point I haven't got one okay so we're at this point here now so what I'm going to do is change my directory to system32 by typing cd system for space seed system32 now in the system32 directory now I need to type map map and that will show me um, what what cd-rom drive I've got my disk in so it's D so I now know the command I have to put for my that the letter I have to put for my um, CD drive is D so I need to put expand and then D colon backslash I three eight six backslash how not how as in um, not DLL as in DLL it's DL and an underscore okay so make sure you don't do that that's wrong so you need to put how dot DL underscore okay and then once you've done that push enter and that will actually copy the file into the actual folder and overwrite now you may see an app you may see a message come up saying do you want to overwrite this file you say yes at this point okay I don't need to overwrite because I know it's not there because I've deleted it okay to make the error message come up and once you've done that we're going to exit to reboot the system make sure you take the CD out mine I've not took mine out so I'm just going to let it run right through so I'm not going to push any button that's it and it's loaded up as you can see Okay, so that's the first fix on to, how to fix the how DLL is uh, replace the actual file. All right, now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, the boot any part. Now I haven't got a, a boot corrupted boot any file, so what I'm going to do is pretend I've got it, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so we're going to reboot the system. And I'll just quickly pause that while it gets into the recovery console again. Okay, we're just about loaded up here again. And as I said, first thing to do is always do that first fix first because that's for the missing file and you won't know which one you've got so 
always try one of them first and then try the other one if it doesn't work it just means it's the latter so let's uh, push R again to enter the recovery console I'm going to quickly just get this done so we can actually get to the part what we need to get to okay so we need to go enter enter okay from here um, what we need to do now is type attribute so we're going to type this uh, attrib and this space h dash r dash s and then c colon oop any like so oh sorry I need to put that backslash there like so now if this doesn't work if this command says it comes back wrong saying parameters wrong don't worry about that just skip that part and then just go on to the next bit okay just do so if that's wrong just do this bit here okay and then what we're going to do is delete the boot any file like so and that's going to boot delete the boot any file which is now gone okay so what we need to do now is rebuild a new one to make sure we fix our problem okay now with that we just type boot cfg all one word space forward slash rebuild it's going to scan start to rebuild say y for yes at this point okay enter the load identifier and we're going to call this windows xp pro okay push enter now for enter operating system load options we're going to do it fast detect like so forward slash fast detect push enter okay so that's that done so we're all done there so what we need to do next is type fix boot okay like so it's going to ask whether we want it on the c drive i'm going to say yes y for yes and that's done okay so what we need to do now is restart the machine okay so once we restart the machine you're supposed to take the cd out at this point i'm not going to bother i'm just going to let not touch the keys and just let it boot up you should get be offered a, a choice this is the new one we've just written the top one the second one is the original so click on the top one push enter okay and that will load up windows and then once that's done we should get to the windows screen like so okay so the windows is now booting up so what we need to do now is go into my computer C drive and then change the folder fo go into folder options and change show hidden files and hide protected files operating system system files take that tick out and that will show us our boot any file what we need to do here is open this and take out our old our old one so we don't get that boot option anymore okay so all we need to do is just take out the old one like so click save and then you can actually go back and hide your files if you wanted to like so that will then disappear click OK and you're done okay now all we've done there basically if you look here this is this is a wrong this is the wrong boot bootloader actual boot any file as you can see it's saying partition free and there's only two partitions say for argument's sake and what we've done there is actually this is booting up and saying it's it's actually pointing in the wrong partition it should be like this one at the bottom that's all we've done so we've actually created a new boot any file and deleted the old one that was wrong so that's what we've done and that would actually correct the problem okay my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk thanks very much for watching if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel if you've got any questions or any comments just please leave them on the on the actual channel and uh, if you've got any requests for videos please give me a shout and I'll try and do my best to make that video for you thanks very much for watching bye for now